What's up? I'm your host, DJ Deuce, with my co-host, Bamboo. What's up, Bam? Yeah, what's good? What's good, man? What's good is I found out you took a nap and I didn't yet. Uh, terrible. Uh, <laughs> fucking terrible. asshole. Is that what you got to say to me? Terrible? That's it? Uh, hey, remember, I asked you, you take a nap, what'd you do? I nah, I got a fucking I need four hours of sleep. I don't care. I'm going, 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 going. That's we what you to, said. We need to videotape our conversation. I said I don't, <laughs> oh, I don't only get four hours of sleep. I said I only, I don't need, I only get not that oh, I want only. You only get okay. Well, still, take the time. I don't. I don't want. I don't want you to heal over and croak, bro. You know, you might give yourself an aneurysm. If we look at the workload difference, see, and there the you accomplishment go. It's difference, compare, it's always a comparison. All I'm saying is, you need some rest for your health. I'm looking out for your health, and you mad at me. I don't get it. Shut up. I don't want to talk to you anymore. <laughs> Anyways, everybody, man, <laughs> like our Facebook page. We stream all our live episodes. That's shooting the shit. You can, you know, follow us, ask us questions, be a part of the show. You can mm-hmm. do the exact same thing on YouTube. Stream all our live episodes. Watch the old ones. That's that shooting the shit podcast. Press the subscribe button, man. Yes. Be a part of the show. Once this is show and ends at the end of it in about an hour or so, it gets uploaded on all major streaming platforms. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, iTunes, Amazon Music. Too much to list. All that good mm-hmm. stuff. That shooting the shit podcast one. Yeah, no, there's, that's we've had like six of them loaded, but I swear to God, there's like nine too or many, ten. There's, too many, too many. There's, there, there's stuff that we don't even get that's supposed to be other countries get that it's uploaded, but we're not complaining, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, whatever you want to listen to. There's an Alexa or a Google thing. Mm. Are we that terrible that we don't even know what to call these fucking technology? We're that bad now, man. They're all streaming platforms. All streaming. Platforms. <laughs> it took us a while just to figure mm-hmm. that one out. Yeah. Man. All right, man. We got a friend. We got hooked up from the Beat Genius. Yes. Hooked us up with this dude here. Our man, he's a hip-hop artist. Mm-hmm. Let's get him on here right now. Jay yes. Swags. What's up, Jay? What up, what What's up? Poppin'? What's poppin', y'all? Chilling, man, chilling. We good, man. We're just oh. yeah. surviving the, uh, the the COVID lockdown. We were talking backstage. You guys are you know out and about while we're, we're still on house arrest over here. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you man. That. I didn't know it was like that over there still. So. Oh, yeah. man, it's 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 been a, you know what, they, they played the, the yo-yo game with us, they kept us open for a little bit, then they shut us down, then and then they kept us shut, this has been the longest we've been, and we're going into maybe over two months now. Damn, pretty yeah. much, yeah. Going yeah, it's been over two months, yeah, it's been about two months, Bam finally got hit up in Nova Scotia, down in the East Coast. Uh, yeah, we he, were doing good for a while, we were doing good for a while, then all of a sudden it's like, nah, we're shutting you down for a month, I'm like, fuck, man, you know, nah, we had two more weeks on that, I'm like, come on. Oh, but, yeah. It is what it is for now, you know? It is what it is, but, you know, once the shit opens up, well, you know, we'll live it up a little bit. But, Jay, let's get right into it, man. Tell me a bit about yourself, man. Um, you know, um, I'm 45 years old. I'm from a city called Lynn, Mass, just outside of Boston. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, ever, ever since I was a young kid, I, I uh, you know, I love music and everything. I can remember, you know, as far as back as I can remember, I love music. You know? mm-hmm. Coming up, I used to, you know... I'm listening to my mother's stuff on, you know, like the Stones and the Beatles and yeah. at her parties, you know what I mean? So right. then I can remember I loved uh, music. And then I started to get into hip-hop, like, junior high. And uh, that's, that's I loved it. Me too. You know? Mm-hmm. That, that was nice. definitely nice. me too, man. Junior mm-hmm. high, that's when it hit me good. Junior high, so now all the... All the... I you know for, damn forty five bro shit you know, you know I, I wouldn't even I wouldn't even put that to you you know what I mean <laughs> like here, like I, I'm I'm stuck on that age right there for supposed wow damn shit all right you know what I mean shit I'm looking you know I'm early thirty thirty two I'm thinking yeah right? you know what I mean appreciate that you know <laughs> absolutely so that. you know so that means you've been around for a long long time you know about this hip hop you know how it is you know how it feels oh know? yeah so. And so, being with that said, so who influenced you into being an artist? Like, you know, who who got you to say, "Oh, I'm going to do this"? Mm-hmm. You know, it was uh, it, it was it was definitely my best friend, my man, okay. Tom the Don. Shout out to Itchy. Mm-hmm. And uh, if not him, it, it Run DMC. Me and him mm-hmm. used to, you know, lip sync, do dances, and, and just imitate Run DMC. Um, but who who kind of like um. Uh, yeah, that's that's basically Run DMC and my and my man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, dig it. I dig it. You know, Bam's a big fan of Run DMC. You said they're pretty much the same thing, right? Influential wise. Yep. Influential wise. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, you know? dude. That, I mean, that's it, 
trendsetters, they broke through a lot of little things, you know what I mean? And they, did, they just took it to another level with, you know, with the TV. And, you know, it's kind of like them getting on TV for us getting on Spotify and all of that at this point, right? Yeah. So, you know, they caught everybody's attention. Yeah, but you know you, 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 you done well in your career when fucking 30 plus years later, the tracks are still hot. Well, that's, you know, you never know. You never know, you know. They could probably sit there right now and be like, I can't stand that song, my Adidas. Well, but you, you know what I mean? But you never know, right? It's so, not what you can stand. It's what the people timeless, enjoy. Timeless to me, but a different generation will say something different. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, Jay, yeah. Run DMC is one of your influential. Your man's next to you, man. When? Did, how old are you? When did you start taking this hip-hop game seriously? Probably around 16, 17. Is that when you first get into a studio? That's when, well, well, see, my man, Itchy Palm, he, um, he had his own little studio and it started from, you know, it started, it started just from, a, uh, one record player and a tape. Mm. Believe that. All right. That, that's mm. how we go back. Mm. But, uh, he, he always had like his little studio going as we came up, it got better and better. That's so awesome. it would just be with his house. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Um, I and mean, doing live shows like like so many live shows the internet wasn't around then. it's true 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 you know you try to get in wherever you can you know I'm laughing they so when i tell them that that i was around back then yeah <laughs> but it's facts though that's how you got out right like there was no like you weren't really pressing many you know cds or tapes or you know handing oh. them out you you were getting on stage rocking mm-hmm. your shit to get your name out there that's how it was done back then yes yeah. you know yeah. he's putting in the bones he's putting in that work you Ooh. know party over here yo let's go to the party yo give me get the mic let me get the mic you know let me do let me get on there you know yeah, but it wasn't right. growing your fan base and all that everything you know on on social media it was about it was about you know the people like your songs can you rock a show can you rock a stage can mm. you get crowd into super it super important that that's, that's what true it does stuff with, you know that is true that is true times you, change but that's okay you know roll with the punches <laughs> roll, roll with, with the punches you know if you wanted to turn someone into a fan of your music, what song or video would you recommend for them to jump on first? You know, you just met someone on the street, you got kicking it for a minute, and he's like, yeah, you know, I'm rap, da 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 You'd be like, yo, check me out, I'm boom. What, what's that? What you gonna hit him with? I would have to go on. Uh, I would have to go with my song, Run, Run, Run. Run, Run, Run? Yeah, Run, Run, Run. It, uh, it, it's, it's talking about this young kid who's on the streets. It's, you know, it's a storytelling, you know. Mm-hmm. Nice. He was on the streets. He's selling drugs. He's, you know, he, he's holding, he's holding something. You know, he's talking blunts. He's, you know, he, he's young. Right. But you can't tell. You know, he, he's running these streets, and he shouldn't be. You know, I, I'm telling him he should, you know, change his ways. But yeah. that's what I think. I like that. I like mm-hmm. the fact that you said storytelling. I think it's a. It leads up to my next question uh, because that's something that I hate these days in in, in the hip hop industry is the lack of storytelling in the song itself. But that's for me. I want to ask you the question. What's the thing you love and hate the most about hip-hop today? <clears throat> love and hate the most. Mm. Well, I'll tell you what I hate the most is like, and, and I'm, this ain't for all. This True. ain't for all because there's a lot, there's a lot of, you know, this day and age, uh, MCs, artists, you know, that, that are dope. Mm. Uh, but a lot of them sound the same. And yes. Yeah. Which it would just, you know, the, the mumbling and stuff like that, you know. I might I might have like a, a stamped age on my shit, but I think I can be a little versatile, and, and I'm gonna show that with this next coming album. Mm. Um, but um, yeah. You know, I hear you, bro. And to be honest with you, don't feel pressured to be trying to be versatile. You, you get what I'm saying? Because it, it, it's that's their thing. They like it. The new people like it. You know, you know, you can incorporate it a little bit into what you're doing. But if you stay true to what you're doing, because like I said, our years, their years, it's still different years, but we, we still got a big fan base. You get what I'm saying? That's so, right. you know, yeah. when we go perform, we ain't worried about motherfuckers jumping out of whips, running up, ready to blaze up the place. You see what I'm saying? So people coming out to enjoy you, you Facts. know, enjoy that. So, Facts. you know, word. Now, I want to know, you currently signed or you independent? I'm independent. Independent? So how you liking that? What's that? How you liking that, independent? Or you open well, to a, a record deal? Uh, no, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. But I just uh, I just hooked up with uh, my man, uh, King Grant. Mm-hmm. King, G-R-A-I-N-T. Mm-hmm. Um, 
he, he's on, he's heavy on Twitter. Uh, he's doing his thing with his 919 music group. So we, me and him just got together. We just linked up and we're, uh, he's going to help me a lot with this marketing and promotion That's and nice. uh, all, all, all the business stuff, you know, the steps that come along with this. Right. And, uh, and yeah, I, I'm excited for the future, man. I got, on. Uh, I got a song coming out uh, real soon, real soon. Mass movement. Very look nice. out, look out for it. That's dope, we'll man. Do, we'll do. You know. So Jay, you told us that you know you performed a lot, and that's how you got yourself out there. Can you tell me that do you have one favorite performance that sticks out above the others? I'd have to say, when me and my man Itchy did, uh, we filled up Lynn City Hall back in the day. Our, our Hall, it's got a big auditorium. Yeah, we filled it up to standing room only and all this. And we had we had two girl dancers behind us. <laughs> it was back then. Yeah, dancers behind us, and uh, and we just blew it up, man. Me and my man, you know, and uh, the crowd was into it. It was just a real good feeling, man, being on that stage. That's awesome, For man. Real. Yeah. It, uh, Nothing beats better than a great performance, man. I tell people it's a different. I, when I DJ too, when I had that, that when you get them, the crowd in, you know, in in the body of your own hands. You know what I mean? You when you have them doing what yeah. you want them to do. Mm -hmm. There's nothing. There's no better feeling, man. I, I straight. I, I've done it with DJ. I remember just just shutting off the volume and having them sing the rest of the song. You know what I mean? You know when you just have them where you want them. Oh uh, man, something just came in my head. I'm yes, sorry. Tell me, man. Go ahead. My 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 senior prom just came in my head because I I blew that up. Ooh. Mm. Um, uh, that just came into my head now so i don't know it's kind of it's kind of a toss-up no i'm gonna go with city hall you know what i mean but that's cool though hey the, <laughs> the prom was was fun that's good Back in the days when i was young i'm not a kid anymore <laughs> <laughs> right you know oh, shit. first performance just tearing down the house man it's just you get off stage feeling like Superman, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I did this, I could do this, and I know nothing can stop me from this point on. But, you know, back then, you know, we don't know all ins and outs to the music industry. It's just, and then that shit start coming at you. It's like, really? This is some bullshit, you know what I mean? So, oh, yeah. that, that's crazy. So, if there's one thing in the industry that you could change, what would it be? Um, I would have to ch change the... You know the the violence. I mean, we can be, we can do hip hop. We can, and we can go at it. And you know, it used to be called battling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, like the, you know, it used to be called battling back in the day. But you know, it's still battling the rap battle and everything. That's that's cool and everything. But bringing it to a level of violence and stuff, you know, that that's just that's just a whole nother level. Right. So let's stop that. Well, see, you know, it, you know, being that it come from the streets, right? So. You know, that street element always going to get pulled into what we're doing, you know. And honestly, I think us as artists, we have the responsibility to make sure our mans and them be keeping their head on their shoulders at times. You, you get what I'm saying? Because it's like, you out here representing me, don't be wilding the fuck out. You get mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But, you know, sometimes shit get out of hand, you know. Sometimes get out, shit get out of hand. That's why you got to separate yourself with certain people at certain times, you know. I got all sorts of crazy fucking friends, and, I, you know, for the most part, I try to keep them separate, you know what I mean? Because some people yeah. I know just don't mesh with other people, and you, you know what I mean? And it's, Yeah, it's, it's some good. people yeah. don't mesh with other people. Exactly, you said it, you said it, you know, couldn't be said better right there. But mm -hmm. is, the, is social media the big part that the violence is up more than ever? You know, because yes. shit talking's easier. Before they used to put it on wax, mm -hmm. now they could just shit talk right now on Instagram while we're on there. You know what I mean? It's too instant. Do you think that social media is a big, I can't say being blamed because you always have to take actions for your own, you know what I mean, for, for what you do. But I mean, do you find that it's a lot easier because of social media that this bullshit's around? Either of you can answer. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I thought, I thought you were talking to Ben. Both of you, man. Go ahead. Go ahead, Jay. Let him know. Let him know. Listen. I thought you were talking to Bamboo. I mm -hmm. was going to do something to lighten it up, so I didn't even really hear it. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. So, Straight up real. Okay, that's good. That's good. Real. Shit. Um, honestly, it, it is it is a big part to what's going on. You know what I mean? Because you got your good and bad about it. You know what I mean? It's good to get shit out there. People can see you, hear you, yeah. so on and so on. You know, back in the day, you had a you had a beef with someone. You put it on the record. Someone heard about it. Be like, oh, when I see that motherfucker, oh, they drop a diss track. But you you don't see this person for months. True. You get what I'm saying. So when you do finally see this person, 
the initial I want to smash his face in, it tends much. to fade away. You get yeah, what I mean? So I then it's that. like, well, what's that about? Now on the gram, every 20 minutes, somebody's saying something stupid to you. You know what I mean? And it's like, you know what? This is some bullshit. Let's just run up there and deal with it right now. You know what I mean? So that's 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 a major problem. You know, people got to get out of their fucking head most of the time, you know? Because yeah, if you think about it, it's a business. It's, it's all it is. It's a business. You know Man, what I mean? You got to create a uh, an app where before you open it, 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 it knows your emotions, bro. <laughs> you, know? <laughs> you know what I mean? Right before you start sending out some messages, it touches, you know, t- touches your pulse. Like, you know, he's too fucked up to send a message right now. He's like, something stupid. Mm-hmm. You know? As a kid, I send a lot of stupid messages. Oh yeah, hundred fucking percent, hundred percent. Get my man, y'all need to get my man Edge of Fame on here, man. Okay. He a good thing out there. Shout out to my man Fame. What up? What up? What up? We'll do it up, my brother. Yeah. We'll do it up. So Jay, as, as an artist, you've been around for a while. You've been doing this, you know, heavy. You've rocked some parties. What's the biggest struggles an artist for an artist today? Well, keeping it, keeping it hundred. If you if you're an artist who's out there, I think it's I think it's like this. If you're an artist out there and you have to work and or do some other means of, you know, something to get some some type of means of income and yeah. pay the bills because maybe the music ain't paying the bills just yet. So then you gotta. You, you know, you got to learn the business end of it and learn how to market yourself. You got to promote yourself. You got to do everything yourself. And, you know, it's, it's, it's tough enough coming up with this this hot music, you know, mm-hmm. but then having to go, go do all that, you I know, agree. it's tough. So I'm glad I'm um, glad I just linked up with 919, my man, King Grant. Mm-hmm. I agree. Right that there. is tough. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it, it, it's good to have someone, you know, someone helping you do something, doing all that. You know? yeah. Of course, of course, because I think that's the biggest struggle, too. I think that's a struggle a lot of people face. Yeah, yeah, having a good Keep team. Because you yeah. gotta look, you gotta be honest. You got you you work a nine to five, and then you gotta come back home, and then you're planning on recording and promoting yourself and marketing yourself. That's that's a lot of hours in a day. And you're right, yeah. it is the biggest struggle. I think that would be the biggest struggle mm-hmm. of an independent artist today, one hundred percent. That's true. A lot of lot of time, a lot of time. You know, come home, eat this, that. <laughs> You know, you're tired some days, some days you're not, you know. But I like the fact that when you're independent, you can take your time to do your stuff. You know what I mean? So it's not like you're, you're yeah. on a schedule. You know what I mean? But then when you get a deal, most people tend to go, I quit my fucking job because I got an advance. You know what I mean? And they go in the studio all day, every day to get an album out and then turn around. You know, it don't fucking blow up. Now they got to go back to work. You know what I mean? That shit, that, that shit hurts, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> you know? So, who are some of your biggest supporters, my man? Some of my biggest supporters. Yeah, I would definitely have to say, you know, you know, my man, my man is a big supporter of what I do. Even though we don't do it together as often as we used to, mm-hmm. he does his thing. Um, and uh, you know, just the the local fan base that I got, the little bit of fan base that I got, you know, the little comments and everything. That's yeah. what me. That's what keeps me going. That's and, awesome. You know. That some someone at least someone out there likes my shit. True. One at least one person likes my shit. There you go. Someone yeah. always gonna like you. Someone always gonna like your stuff. You know what I mean? Not yeah. everybody gonna hate it. But yeah. being independent, you can explore, do all sorts of things. So you know, branch out. Don't don't put yourself in the box. I tell everybody, don't put yourself in the box. Try all that shit. Try it all because it's already been it's already been mixed up together anyways, right? So. What's, what's the sense not to try? Give it a try. Well, the nice I mean? thing, Bam, is the, about the fact that you can promote yourself in a whole other countries, right? Oh, like yeah. hip hop's worldwide right now. It's mm-hmm. hot. Yeah, it's hot. It's absolutely yeah. hot. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now with social media and the way it is, you could you could send your shit to Germany if you wanted to. You know, Australia, any anything, just within minutes, it's it's fantastic. You know, with the amount of people that we've talked to, there's a lot of producers that are out there too, right? So, talking about producers, is there an artist or any producer that you would love to work with in the near future? Artists who I would love to work with in the near in the near future. Sure. Uh, Anybody. Shoot. I, I don't want to go. I don't want to go too deep, but I, you know, my man Jada. I would love to bump heads with Jada and do mm-hmm. something with Jada because Jada is the man. Love that. Mm-hmm. That's that's like someone on that level. Yeah. But someone around here, local, who's who's doing that thing. Um, Shoot, I wouldn't mind doing with that, something with the um with the BMG boys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. You know, we, we was gonna work something out and uh something fell through. But everything's all good and everything. But yeah, one day we are gonna do that. That'll be dope. That, that out Bugsy and them. 
You know, them BMG boys, Supreme Entertainment, Premium, what up, what up? Okay. That'll be dope. Yeah. Supreme, baby. Yeah. He said, Jay, the top five, shit. You know, that boy, and it, it's weird. A lot of people underrate him. You oh, know what I mean? Oh, 100%. They, they so what? underrate him, you know? Oh, my and God. Five, five. Yeah, and it, that's like me with respect to Deck. I feel like he's underrated out of woo. Like, to me, pfft, the man is fire. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? He he puts his visuals behind his lyrical. You know what I mean? So, and a lot of people don't catch it. You know what I mean? A lot of people don't catch it. To me, it's one long story rap from all his little verses that he's done. Everywhere, if you listen to all of his verses in a row, it's one big fucking story. You know what I mean? He puts yeah. a little piece, put it here, put it there, put it there. It's crazy, you know? So, all right, kid. Name your top five, bro. My top five. Top five. Better alive. Better alive. <laughs> anytime. My top. Doesn't five. matter what genre. Not in any order. Yeah. Would definitely be, um, Rockem. Mm. Biggie. Mm. Big L. Mm-hmm. Eminem and mm-hmm. Matt. Oh, did I say Jada up top? Did I say Jada up top? No. No. I didn't. No. I have to put Jada in there, man, because, you know, you mm. got Jada in there. I got to put Jada in there and take out, and uh, I don't know, oh, my man, Matt, but he's fired too. Can I get a top six? <laughs> Absolutely, top six. man. Top Absolutely. Six. You know? Yeah, yeah. Put it. You know, <laughs> lovely it, sentence down here. <laughs> yeah, everybody yeah. top five always change here and there. You know what I mean? Somebody comes out of the woodwork and be like, whoa, he's before his time. You know what I mean? So. You know, yeah. but I, I say, I, I see, I see you a full East Coast man. You know what I mean. So let's yeah. let, let's change it up a little bit. Your top five on the West Coast. On the West Coast. On the West Coast. Let's let's show the West a little yeah. love. Let's go with uh, let's go with Snoop. Mm-hmm. The game. Mm-hmm. Ice Cube. Mm-hmm. Um, Snoop, the game, Ice Cube. Let's give one to my man MC Eight. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. I don't know, man. Um, I thought I, I, I messed with the East. I know, I know, not know, ain't nothing wrong with it. Nothing it, wrong. Saying I, I used to listen to, um, you know, I used to listen to the, to the uh, Snoop shit, to the, uh, you know, Dog Pound. Oh yeah. They drain them and Death Row and all that. I used to mm. listen to that. I mm-hmm. did. No, 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 no back and forth thing. It's just you know, like. You know, I'm I'm an East Coast dude, so you know, half of your lineup, you know, the God Rock him, KRS, da 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 da. For me, yeah, that yeah. that's my original top five. But then, you know, like I said, over the years I've been listening to the West, so I'm like, you know what? I got a little West Coast top five too. You you get what I mean? So yeah. you yeah. know, like you know, for me, for me, what we got Cypress, we got E40, we got Too Short. You know yeah. what I mean? You know, yeah. I you know I like certain other rappers out there that's been doing that. Oh yeah, thing. okay, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Shit, hell. To be honest with you, Tone Loach in that motherfucker too. Oh, you know what I mean? Oh, oh I'm I, man. I was listening to the same gang the other day. <laughs> he murdered the fucking track, man. I was like, oh my god, that boy was nasty. You know, he got Funky Cole Medina on that motherfucker <laughs> for real. You know? Damn. You know what I'm telling yeah. mm-hmm. you. Yeah. Love it, man. You right. know? <laughs> I love it. Brother, we like to ask people five random questions just to get people to know you a little bit better. First question is, what was your first job? We're talking about your first actual paycheck ever. <laughs> that would be stop and shop. I'm pretty sure I was a bagger in a, in a uh, uh, carriage, you know, run and get the carriages. And- oh, okay, okay, mm-hmm. okay, okay. Yeah, I was like 15, 14, oh. something like that. Well, that's good. That's a good age to start out, you know. You didn't like it much, did you? No. <laughs> Nobody liked their first fucking job. It was like, what the fuck is this No, bullshit? no, that's a lie. You know what? I worked at McDonald's as a kid. That was my first job. Mm. I hated it because it was my first job. And <laughs> I started working at other jobs, and I started to appreciate McDonald's a little bit better at one point. <laughs> I was like, man, they, they got their shit together. You know what I mean? And mm. Interesting. They guys. definitely do. They wouldn't be around as That's long what I'm saying. I remember I worked one day at Wendy's. I was like, no wonder you guys suck. <laughs> <laughs> I worked at Wendy's, man. I, I worked there, too. I was what one yep. shift, man. I worked one shift at Wendy's, one and I was, like, at Wendy's. I was like, it was one shift, one eight-hour shift. And I was like, man, I gotta get the fuck out of here. That's man. crazy. I got crazy memories working at Wendy's, man. One of my managers, I was with my man at you. I was talking before we had the, we was both there working there, and the manager came in. We caught him. We caught him on uh, 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 something, something to do with. He had a porno in the damn. <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm on, you know, monitor. You know what I mean? It was like the big VCR tape that went yep. in. Mm-hmm. And, and and it came up a, a porno. We caught him watching it, something like that, man. Shit was crazy. Crazy memory. <laughs> Wendy's. <laughs> Yeah, Wendy's man, yeah, it was one one eight hour shift, man. I would have left halfway through, but I had to drive my boy home, so I had to finish my shift. Mm. I was just like, "Fuck this! I'm never coming back here, man." I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you know, I all know. Right. All right, all right. Name name one thing on your bucket list. One thing on my bucket list. Yes, mm-hmm. you gotta do it. I gotta get on an airplane. Never have. Che. Real, real, real talk. Real talk. Real talk. Che. Real talk, man. I'm ready. I'm ready. We of, gotta come down there and scoop you I up there. Did one day, but I did. But we got to the to the door, and uh, you know, rest in peace, my man Biz. We got to the door, and he got a phone call. His wife was having a brain aneurysm, so we just turned. Oh. Mm, mm, That's. Mm. I'm about to go to Miami too. Oh, okay. Damn, man. We, but uh, yeah, I'm ready, but I just haven't done it, man. Me and Bam always, man. It's COVID stopped us this one year, but we always go down south. We go yeah, you, Dominican you tell, and Cuba tell, tell and. We want to hit up Mexico and yeah, man. Fuck, yeah. man. Catch me in some little, little dinky plane, man. Nope. No, no, no. We get on those planes and we land and then we're the drunkest guys on the resort for seven days <laughs> straight, you know? <laughs> Real talk, shit, you know? Right, right. And you know you're going to get that cushion when you're down there, you know, because they're going to see you. They're going to look at you. You got that look. You know, they're going to be like, you need something? you be like, yep, hit me up. Boom, boom, boom. And you, you good from there. Because you, know you got to understand that right. they, me and Bam always get hit up with all sorts of shit. Because people are like, we're loud and we're having a good time and everyone, you know, we're, you know, we people like we, we attract some people. So every time someone's leaving to go back on the plane, they're not finished whatever they bought. So they try to hand it over to me and Bam every time. Like, here you go. Here you, you go. Know? Here you go. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, man. Like, Shit, right. I got here. Shit, you know. <laughs> it's fucking you, funny. Yeah, man. you got to get on a plane, man. You know what I mean? And, yeah, I feel- it, and right now with this shit and then things are starting to open up, all, everything is cheap right now. You might as well just pay for it. You can pay right, for it for know, next yep. year. Right now. True enough, true pay enough. Pay for it right now, schedule it for next year. Mm-hmm. And just sit back, relax. You know it's already paid for. You know what I mean? And so, Miami's, not, oh, Miami's not a bad place to pick, brother. <laughs> where? Miami, yeah. man. If you were going Miami, to Miami. Yeah, I've been down there in a car. Yeah. Mm. Bus. Yeah. But yeah, oh. definitely going to plane down there. Oh, well, that's good. Go a little further south. Go a little further south. You know. Ooh, to where? Like Puerto Rico or something? Puerto Rico, Dominican, Cuba, you know Jamaica. what I mean? Jamaica. Oh, yeah. Go a little, little bit further south and you'll be like, oh, this is some bullshit. Why why I didn't leave? You know what I mean? And you you up in boss shit. It get cold, bounce. You know what I mean? When it's cold, <laughs> bounce. Like the birds. Like you know what I mean? Eyes. When you get off that plane, you're gonna be like yes. you're gonna be like, you're gonna get off the plane and be like, really? Three hours from, from where I just left. That's right, that's right. And this weather changes like that, you might not go back. To my first time, you know what, man, Bam? It's funny you said that because my first trip when I was Dominican when I went with Jesse, mm. and it was like a little less than four and a half hours away, and we landed, and I've never been anywhere down south. And I land, and I I'm looking at palm trees, and it was just fucking freezing where I was at, and I was like, four and a half hours, man. Four, like I couldn't wrap my head around it. You know what I mean? Like I was like, really, man? I'm here. I was here for like what the fuck? It was mm. like, dude. I think for two days I just didn't talk to anyone. I just kept looking around. I couldn't believe it. It was. Beautiful. It was hot. It was fucking hot. I thought I was dying the first day. I thought, Jay, I thought I was dying. Like I was looking like a little yeah. bitch crying. Like <laughs> oh, girls would bring me drinks because they're like, "Look at this whiner. He's dying." You know. <laughs> you know, you're looking at the ocean. You're like, ah, you know what? I'm just gonna go in. You know what I mean? You get in the water. Nice. You like, <sighs> you're chilling. You're relaxing. Go back That's to the good. bar. Keep getting drinks. You, yeah. you, ain't, you ain't got paid for it. You're like, what the fuck? Even that was on? weird. That was a weird thing that for me threw too. Me off, getting man. drinks down in down Fell south. Getting, I, I'd get a drink and I'd look at the bartender right in the face and I'd walk away because I'm waiting for him to say, "Yo, where the fuck's my money?" Right? Like I'm so oh, used to five out, five out. Right? You know, nothing. Just, next, Shit. I was like, man, this is great, man. So Dang. Jay, give me yeah. one word that describes your music style. One word. One word. Aggressive. Oh. Still, are we still on the street? Yes, man? we still on the fucking street, Jay. Every artist that we interviewed and we asked that question, nobody gave us the same fucking answer. Yep. Everybody it's had a fucking different crazy, answer. Man. You know, we we like wow, 127 <laughs> episodes in. Well, 127, hey. probably. I don't know how many interviews. A good a good majority of the chunk of interviews, yeah. and not one answer is the same. same. Not one the same. That's nuts. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Huh? A lot of styles. Yeah, I hear you. 
So what do you do for fun, man, besides this music and, you know, everything like that? You know, what do you do? What do you do to relax and chill out? And just, so what other hobbies do you have? What is what he's trying and to ask you? Go love something. Like, you know, some 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 people go home at the end of the day, you know, a long day, and they have a couple beers. I, you know, I roll something up. There you go. Throw something in the air, and that mm-hmm. comes kind of down and that. Right, right. That's good. That's good. You know, ain't nothing wrong with that. Sitting back relaxing. Hit the blunt. You know? <laughs> Do your thing. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. So, brother, things are opening up for you, man. And hopefully, you know, COVID's a fucking wrap, you know? And hopefully, you know, things could be back to what it used to be and back to normal. But what's next for you? I know you have projects coming up. But what's next? What's the big goal for J Swags? It's the, it's the, you know, just creatively get a bigger fan base and and make just make fans happy and like my music mm-hmm. and do this even if it's even if it's not for money but you know just to go like you know they never stop no matter how old he got you know mm-hmm. just kept it coming for go. sure man for sure there that's the way to do it i hate what you know i owned a music studio back in 2004 and 5 and there used to be some young kids you know they were talented they were good they'd come in and they put a time stamp on on when if they didn't get it done by this point, they were giving up. Yeah, you can't. And, and I hated that. I was like, yeah. dude, either you love it or you just don't. I don't know. I just right. It's one or the other. It was sad, yeah. man. It was sad. So Jay, I want to let people know where they can follow you at, man. You're also you're on Spotify. You're on all major streaming platforms. Am I correct? Yes. And that's at Jay Swags. It's at the real J Swags. The real J Swags. Also, you can catch you at the real J Swags on Instagram. Also, right? They can follow you on there. Yeah, the real J, the real J Swags on Instagram. You can go to uh, YouTube, the real J Swags, um, Instagram, um, Spotify. Yeah, uh, I mean all that. All, yeah, that. all the major streaming platforms. Yeah. Can I give a couple shout outs? Uh, yes, yeah, please, man. man. I gotta shout out all my peeps, and if I forget a couple of you, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We'll catch them on the next podcast. First, the beat genius number one. We mm-hmm. about to drop mass movement on the fifth. It's coming yeah. out. Look for it. I love to give a shout out my man Buzz Beats, Itchy Palm the Dawn. What's up, son? My man DJ Biz Boogie, Exit Fame, Unk Danes, Bugsy Streets, then BMG Boys, Jackie Brown. What's up, girl? <laughs> That's yeah. Perry on the dawn, 603. Yo, let's 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 do it like this. Boss is real talented, man. I'm telling y'all. And I ain't just saying that because this is where I'm from over here. But you got my man Ricardo Williams and Arthur, you know, over uh two books that's blowing up right now. I want to give Ricardo a shout out. That's my man. You know, um, just that's what Mass Movement's about. And I just wanna let everybody know this song, what it's about. Let's all come together under one roof and you know, yeah, get this cheddar. Absolutely, hey, man. So you know, you, you see that nothing but love and support for his city and his fellow men. Yes, and man. Women, fellow men and women in his town, and ain't nothing gonna stop y'all. Y'all gonna y'all gonna come through the door. They can't stop y'all. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? No doubt. You know, that's the proper way of doing shit, man. If people, if the kids need to learn one thing, that's the, that's the main key, right there, man. Work together. Work yep. absolutely together. The community needs to be together. Mm-hmm. We're bigger together. You know, some of the biggest shows that I was a part of is when we work together. Yep. wasn't solo. It wasn't me mm-hmm. by myself. You know what I mean? It was me. Even in the DJing business, it was me and other DJs working together. That's the way to do it, you know? Yeah, me and 919, we working together now, and things are about to get popping. Watch for yeah. it. It's going to yeah. be a problem. So, Jay, tell me about your your, your track that I want to play. I want to play your music video, Street yeah. Coats. Tell me a bit about it. Tell me, you know, uh, what the song's about, you know, uh, your it video goes. shoot, etc. That's, um, that's my man. It's me and my man, Exit Fame. That's Street Code featuring my man, Exit Fame, at Exit Fame. Um, you can catch him. He's doing his thing, blowing, blowing. Shout out to Fame. Um, it's just, a, you know, Street Code. We basically going off into a mindset of like, you know, you know, keep it, keep it Street Code. Keep it, uh, keep it hood, you know, keep it to, uh, keep it to a minimum. Love that, man. I dare. I love that. You know what I'm talking about. Jay, man, I'm really happy you took the time to be on our show, brother. For real. You know where to find us, man. Anything new you want to shoot the shit about? Absolutely anything else, man. Hit us up. We'll get you on here. We can always do it again, my brother. Appreciate y'all. All All right, my man. All right. Code, man. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yo, fame. Jay Swags, what up? We in here, baby. Uh huh. Yeah. X Vent. Bossing on the map. You know the G code. Can't fake this. Stay in the street.
straight cup. Let's go. Yeah. Get him. Uh. Dude in a doggy style in the chronic set. I thought I made the block proud when I caught a case. Ready to die. Crack amendments made a hell on earth. Sex, drugs, and entertainment have me living cursed. Illuminati won't do me like Machiavelli. Dope world's a new thug life. It's on my belly. Dark and hell is hot. Get rich or die trying. Good kid, mad city rolling with the iron. Before I fade to black, clap on my victory lap. It's all lies on me and your witness of that. This bad boy probably should have got death row. The aftermath of God's plan, that's the cheat code. We're downtown, baby, and we poppin' tonight. Who the hell wanted? Tearing up the block, man. My team's fast, deep, and we backin' it up. Who the hell wanted? Huggin' the block. This is what we do all day, every day. Who the hell wanted? Yeah. Huggin' the block. It's the smoke wherever I go. 50 deep in these streets, man, we run this show. Fall back, y'all can get clapped, my team be crazy. Put them keys on the triple beam and pay me. We got them but killing pimps and hustlers here. So you know that these streets, so I'm trusted, clear. My team grind hard, we play hard later. Them suits by Armani and them shoes a gator. On the block, rock, timbos, fatigue, and hoodies. On the hunt, masked up man, so tuck them goodies. Born and raised in city, I hold it down. I'm a hustling. And I push that crown You're a clown and I'ma show you what these streets about Let me find out you snitching, I'ma break your mouth We soldiers out here, turning the beast mode There's rules to this game, so spit it in street code We're being down, baby, and we poppin' tonight Who the hell wanted? Huggin' the block This is what we do all day, every day Who the hell wanted? Huggin' the block This is what we do all day, every day Who the hell wan